Hey, um, I wanted to give an update for where I'm at on the Wim Hof method and kind of my thoughts about it all for someone who has ME-CFS and fibromyalgia. So I know there are people that have gotten healthy from doing this and there's people that have improved their wellness and all that stuff. But for me, I'm starting to realize like I, I was doing three breaths and maybe that was too much, three breath cycles and no cold. But my body is really taking like it's it's like it's in a, a storm right now. And I keep going up and down and really having these up, up, ups and feeling great and then down, down, down. Um, whereas before it was more like this, once I started doing the Wim Hof, it was like, whoosh, whoosh, like, oh, I feel so great, everything's feeling good, I don't have any pain, and then all of a sudden it's like I have a ton of pain. Whereas before I was just having moderate, manageable pain. And same with energy levels, like I got to a point in my recovery before the Wim Hof method where I wasn't napping anymore during the day, but after Wim Hof it was just like constant napping and even with the breath work. So I'm starting to wonder if the like hormones that happen when you breathe are maybe just too much for my system. So I'm gonna stop for now and I'm gonna let my kind of nervous system and my body have a break, like just, just stop, you know? <sighs> it's just, it's been hard for me, and I'm sure it's hard for you if you're watching this and you have ME-CFS or fibromyalgia because you're constantly wanting to improve, you're constantly wanting to try new things, and it's like, did this, try this, try this, try this, and I just, I need to stop trying things, and I just need to let my body rest and kind of get out of this roller coaster cycle of push and crash and push and crash and push and crash and like flare and not flare. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I, I wouldn't necessarily say don't do the Wim Hof method because it could work and it has worked for some people. But for me personally, I find that it's just exacerbating my symptoms. And it's, it's lovely in that like when you feel feel really calm after you've done the breathing that's a really nice place to be and it's a nice place to visit and it's nice to know that that is available to you at a later date maybe when you're in a better position but yeah for me I'm just stopping so my theme this upcoming week is going to be um, just to not do anything like just rest and find joy in my life and enjoy my family and not feel like I have to do anything you know be a little more present a little more aware and just kind of almost like bundle I don't know, like just give myself like a warm cozy blanket and warm tea and do a lot of this like bundling self-care um, so that's my next step, is this bundling self-care and letting my, rather than always having like your world get small and you're always trying to like expand it, expand it, expand it, you're like, oh, I'm kind of in a good space, I'm gonna expand it, but just, I'm gonna let it shrink. I'm gonna let my world become smaller, become simpler. And yeah, that's okay. I'm starting to realize that that's okay to have a smaller world and to let your world become smaller because when it becomes smaller it gives you the space that you need to feel safe for your body to not freak out you know to heal to just have a pause because I've been fighting this and fighting this and like trying to work on my health work on my health for so long and it's like do I really need to work on it like maybe I just need to love myself a little bit more and do a little bit more radical self-care even and radical self-care for me before was like I'm gonna like carve out my boundaries and I'm going to really be strong with like you know if I set to this um, routine or this new program or this new whatever I'm just gonna like hardcore go into it um, 
even if it was just breathing like one round a day of Wim Hof. Um, but yeah, now I'm starting to realize that radical self-care is also allowing yourself to just do nothing and just stop. And like I'm off work right now, like I had to quit my job because of my health and it's been a really big struggle for me not working. It really has. I'm the type of person that loves to work and loves to create and loves to do. And yeah, so this, I think this week's gonna be really big for me personally, but I don't know. I invite you to come along if you wanna try and uh, give yourself a rest. So lots of love. It's Mother's Day today for um, whoever has Mother's Day on this this Sunday. <laughs> I don't know how many people celebrate Mother's Day around the world, but definitely happy Mother's Day if you're a mom. And if you're not a mom and have a mom, which you all do, send them love even if they might not be with you.